Hello, everybody. How are you? We're back for another consumer video. And this time we're going to be talking about the five worst drugstores in San Jose. Of course, every time we go to a drugstore, we want to get good prices and engage selection. But mm, I didn't have a good time in these five. For example, Miner, M-I-N-E-R, Miner drugstore. Now, Miner is right downtown San Jose, guys, convenient to a lot of the commuters. But the problem I had was they don't like to turn on the lights. <clears throat> now, they give, if, give you a mining helmet. You're supposed to turn on the light. All right. I can, I can dig different marketing ideas. But for some reason, they've used special ink that does not allow the uh, prices to appear as they normally would. So what you see when you sweep your mining helmet light around the room are prices that are five dollars below what they should be but a lot of people don't notice it uh, at all like ever so they pick up the item at twelve dollars at the register at 17 they they just give them the 20 take the change and they're out because it's a little uncomfortable uh walking around in any space where you have to go by the light of a mining helmet guys i'm gonna say no now, number two on our list is Pile, P-I-L-E, Pile Drugstore. It's going to be on this far south side of uh, San Jose, guys. And the problem with Pile is that they only will work with you if you are comfortable placing your items on different carpet pilings uh, in order to assess their weight. Now, this is a kind of a what they call the carpet weighting strategy because different carpet piles, be it a Berber or any other kind of shag, any other kind of uh, carpeting, uh, will weigh items differently just based on the pressure of the item on the surface of the carpet. So uh, let's say that you go into the drugstore and you need, uh, I don't know, maybe some acetaminophen, and you get a, uh, you know, just your average uh, 500 caplet jar, right? And uh, you would think that, well, that's going to be a standard price for that size. No, it's all done by weight, and it's all done by the weight of the item on particular carpeting. And the type of carpeting differs by the day of the week. So, in other words, if you're coming in on a Monday and they're having they have Berber carpet up on the cash registers, that's what they'll use. If it's Tuesday, it might be shag, that's what they'll use. So, you could have a 5 to $7 swing in the price of most items, not always in your favor, guys. So I'm going to have to say no to Pile Drugstore in San Jose. Number three is Wardrobe. Wardrobe Drugstore. Now, what's interesting about Wardrobe Drugstore is they have so many clothing items, but you think, well, that's not really that unusual for a drugstore anymore. They have so many umbrellas and gloves and mittens and T-shirts and you know, that that are not necessarily drugs, uh, but they are profit centers. So what Wardrobe Drugstore has done has is sells only clothing items. Now it's a broad range, so they're including they're including those uh reading glasses that they sell for twenty dollars and probably cost them fifteen cents. They're including those as uh, clothing items. But I don't know. When I see on the outside it says drugstore, I expect to be able to get some Tylenol. If the only thing I can get are copper socks that will somehow improve my circulation and I'm going to pay $40 for those, I'm going to say, ah, no way, wardrobe, drugstore. Now, number four on our list is football. Football drugstore is going to be on the far north side, up by the outer belt there, guys. So if you're up in that area and you don't mind having to place bets before you can shop there, as you walk in, they say, bet, please. And you say, what? I'm just here to shop. They go, no, no, no. You got to place a bet on a football game uh, before we let you shop. And you say, well, listen, it's spring. Uh, football doesn't start till the fall they said it does not matter we'll hold on to your bet okay if you want to bet on the ohio state michigan game you got to do it right now and we'll hold on to your bet 
And if it does, then we're just let, we're just making you bet to get in the door. <laughs> okay. But if you win, uh, once that game is played, we're going to give you discounts up to 25% of your purchases that you've already made this year. Ooh, not bad, you say. Well, that's you. But for me, I do not know how to handicap football games. And I lost $17,000 last year at football drugstore in San Jose because of my poor betting. Guys, I just can't take the risk. I'm going to say, no way, Jose. And then finally, it's Weave. Weave Drugstore right out there on the east side. If you like the larger drugstore, there's plenty of room, plenty of parking. It's a large building, high ceilings, well lit. And Weave is come up came up with a unique way um, to to shop, frankly. And that is you have to weave your way through a corn maze that they've set up inside the store. So if you know what a corn maze is, it's corn that is it's taller than your head, well well over your head. And you have to walk through a maze of corn stalks to find the uh, way out is how it typically works at a corn maze. In this case, you have to wind your way through there to find your items and then find the register and leave. Well, I like the well lit. I like plenty of parking. I hate going through a corn maze, even if it's indoors, even if if you get lost and you can't seem to find your way out after four or five hours, they will send a guide down to help you. And that guide is a puppy. And the puppy is trained to, find, you know, take you to, to the exit, help you leave. However, the puppy also is going to stop every three minutes to chew on your shoe. So you're going to not have any shoes by the time you get out. You're just going to have socks and no shoes. And the puppy will be happiest. And then there'll be like a, a trail, a trail of rubber and leather bits where your shoes used to be as you walk out. Guys, I, I mean, shoes are so expensive these days. I don't, I, I don't need no puppy uh, chewing on my feet. <laughs> oh, even though I love the puppy, I'm like, bro, bro, quit chewing on my feet. Quit chewing on my shoes. So, guys, that's a no-go for me. Now, listen, that's my five worst drugstores in San Jose. Maybe you know some other bad ones. Let it leave a comment. If you know some good ones, leave a comment. Because when you do, guys, you're helping lift the entire community as we grow together. Talk to you soon.